Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, you'll meet a bright young entrepreneur who's teaching people how to go from crisis to confidence. The founder of The Bright Mentality, next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, you've heard me say on this show before that we have a mental health epidemic in this country, and I think largely uh, COVID is to blame. I mean, you can't shut down the whole planet, tell everybody to go home and work online, and then never mind, uh, go back to go back to normal. I think we're all having, you know, PTSD type syndromes. And somebody who knows that very well is my next guest, Courtney Jordan. She's the founder of the Bright Mentality. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Jeff. Thank yeah. you for having me on the show. Absolutely. And, and you have the courage to share your own mental health journey. So um, good upbringing, you're cruising along, and then what happens? Yeah, so I graduated TCU in 2014 and never had any mental health issues, never anxiety, never depression. And I went through this unexpected mental health episode where um, it led me to psychiatric care um, and... I have been making it my mission to help as many people as possible um, to get from crisis to a confidence situation and make sure that they know that their future is bright despite their diagnosis. Um, you know, having the mental health issues that I had for quite some time and trying to get to the other side and recover, um, I really want people to know that they can do great things and accomplish their goals and their dreams despite having a mental illness. Wow, we're gonna uh, pull up a couple of pictures of you speaking because you go around uh, the area right now giving talks. Uh, what was this talk about? This was um, for a private movie screening called The Art of Acknowledgement. And um, it was produced by Tim Llewellyn and uh, he created this uh, mental health faith-based TV or movie uh, that is you know, helping people to know that uh, they can get through big things and um, that despite having depression, like that the Lord is there for them. And so it's a great, uh, it's a, it's a great, great yeah. movie. I see you at the Petroleum Club in Fort yes, Worth. Yes, I'm a member of the Petroleum Club. Um, I currently work in the oil and gas industry. And so I'm a member there. Uh, that was at my Bright Mentality launch party. And um, yeah, so that's just been um, a great place and uh, a lot of great people there as well. Absolutely. She's also a very accomplished podcaster. We've got some uh, video of one of her recent podcasts and we're going to put that up on, on the screen. Talk about the show. What do you like to, what kinds of uh, subjects do you tackle on the show? Yes. So I'm going to be talking about mental health and faith and overcoming obstacles and also uh, comeback stories. So for people that have gone from a crisis situation and now they're on the other side, I want to interview people and let them know that um, their stories are affecting others and that uh, they are doing the right things in order to help their mental health and um, living out their full potential. Absolutely, we're gonna pull up her website and as we scroll down the website, the first thing you're gonna see is the journal. Uh, tell us about the journal. Yes, so I created um, the Bright Mentality Journal. It's a 90 day guided uh, journal um, to help with your mental wellness and it has uh, 13 journal prompts each day so it has everything from your medication to your mood check um, your nutrition on the move it's got uh, inspiration for the day your sure. sleep schedule so it's based off of cognitive behavioral therapy so CBT um, it's been reviewed and edited by a licensed professional counselor and it's been vetted by mental health professionals as well. Sure, sure. And just uh, trying to inspire people and um, 
Let yes. them know that there's hope. Absolutely, and you've already sold more than 900. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. Uh, I want to talk more about you know the journey you take people on when they when they um, stick to it. So they wake up in the morning and they have to give themselves a mood, right? So if let's suppose somebody woke up sad, um, how does your journal help them reframe their thoughts? Yes. So um, with cognitive behavioral therapy, it's going to walk them through their day, and so uh, when they if they if they are sad when they wake up. Uh, walking through the journal, you know, you can change your mood and your mentality by focusing on your mental health and practicing this type of therapy. Yeah, I saw one of the things was gratitude, and I know that is absolutely fundamental. So when you journaled this morning, what did you, uh, what were you gr grateful for today? This opportunity to come on the show. Mm -hmm. um, this is an amazing opportunity, and um, I also was thankful for um, LaunchBox, which is a entrepreneurial incubator that has helped me to grow in my entrepreneurship there in Fort Worth. Um, and they've been amazing, so I was thankful for that as well because um, gratitude and thankfulness really elevates your mood. So. Absolutely, and she's uh, quite the entrepreneur because uh, you're evolving your brand. Um, tell us about the new offering. Yes, so um, I have also created a mental health concierge service um, called Bright Bridge. And Bright Bridge is uh, connecting mental health patients to mental health professionals. We are the bridge that's connecting uh, the clients. And so um, that's just starting. I've got a team uh, of people that I graduated uh, TCU with uh, for my MBA recently, and we are building that right now. And um, so I've got that one. And then I've got um, the Bright Dose, which is a 501c3 nonprofit for people that cannot afford mental health medication. That's wonderful. Since you started telling your story, both in your podcast and in public speaking, what's been the feedback? I mean, do people come up to you after and say, thank you so much for sharing your journey? I have had a lot of feedback uh, in the past years, and it's been all positive. Um, you know, for the longest time, it was hard for me to talk about my story, and it was hard for me to share the experiences that I've gone through. But I, I find that the more people that I open up to and talk to them about, the more people it helps and the more people are inspired and want to help more people with mental health issues. And because there is such a problem uh, with mental health in this country, you know, yeah. I just think there needs to be a solution. And so that's why I created the Bright Mentality. That's why I created the journal. It was to um, bring inspiration and hope and awareness. And I think it's um, thanks to brave people like you who are uh, putting it out in the open so people can talk about it, that the stigma is starting to just disappear that um, employees have the confidence to say, boss, I'm struggling with something, and it's not seen as a, you know, a mark on their career. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So in the little time we have left, talk to the person who's struggling with something right now and, and give them some words of encouragement. Yeah, I just want you to know that you can get through this. I've gone through every type of mental health crisis, and I just want you to know that don't give up. If you need help, reach out. Uh, reach out to me, reach out to the crisis hotline, just ask for help and it'll be okay. And don't give up, um, you can do big things. Um, that's part of the journal too, there's goals and dreams. So just try to focus on your tasks for the day, the things that you say you're gonna do. And you know, if, even if you can't make it uh, through the list that you created, it is okay. And you do not have to be on point all the time. You can have struggles and get through your crisis and your mental health episode, and I believe in you a lot, so do not give up. Outstanding. What an amazing guest. We're going to leave you with her website, which is thebrightmentality.com. The great Courtney Jordan. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much, Jeff. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.